These things are very beneficial um, with voice control and kind of like automating the timing and everything. What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. I hope everybody's doing well today. I got a day off tomorrow and today's kind of early day for me. If you guys are new here, this is Hugh. This is my Waterbox 7225. We're continuing the build right here. Before I start, please smash that like button. It really helps out with the algorithm and everything and I really appreciate everybody's support. So last week we were working on getting the channeling in. You guys can see I got it across. It's one, two, three, four pieces and it fit in perfectly. I did not need to cut it or adjust it or anything like that. But we got all of our electronics in with the battery, the two um, wave makers, the, the Inkbird controller, the main pump, and the mixing station pump. I ended up routing the wave maker uh, electronics and the battery electronics up top right here. They're the bricks that power everything. I got lucky and I I was able to squeeze in all of the wiring on the side right here and I added another channel up there to kind of hide everything but the bricks are up top like that. I gotta clean up this wiring but it doesn't look too bad right now. <laughs> well it does. I need to work all of this out right here. Clean it up. But I got something in the mail today and I wanted to share with you guys. Let me so show you. If you guys have been following along with the channel with the Red Sea Reefer 350, you guys know that I have um, two power strips in there, uh, smart power strips that are able to connect to the Wi-Fi and Alexa. So I can control a lot of the pumps and everything through my phone or by voice control. But after a year, one of the one of the power strips failed on me. It just kind of kept turning on and off and clicking and everything. And I kind of retired that strip and the other strip is working fine. But for this build, I wanted to go with that automation route again with the voice control and the app control and everything like that. But I did not want to spend more money on China or Chinese power strips that could possibly fail after a year or so. So I went searching online and I found this um, reputable brand. I think it's still made in China, but then it's coming from TP-Link and it got a lot of high reviews and I'm just going to take a gamble and go with these plugs right here. So I bought a whole bunch of these plugs and this one came up for sale. It's for outdoor use. Um, outdoor use but it's double plugs right here. I thought I could use this for the Ecotech um, wave makers. Um, someone made a comment that since it's all the way back here it's going to be a pain in the butt to kind of reach in here and kind of wanting to control it all of the time. So I figure I'll set it at whatever setting that I want to keep it at and to turn it on and off, I'll have the plugs linked to this thing right here. So I can, if I want to turn it off for feeding or anything like that, I can just switch it off with my voice control or through the app. So this was like only 20 bucks. I'm on slick deals all the time and I saw this on sale so I picked it up. So right here off the box, it's meant for outdoors so it says it's weather, weather resistant and right here it says works with Google Assistant and works with Alexa. So I was going to plug these two up into here so it's one plug and then these plugs right here. I was going to use one for the skimmer, one for the main pump, and I have a couple more for the mixing station. So mixing station, it has, I, I bought this pump right here to pump the water out of this tank into the sump and this wave maker right here to mix the salt. So that's two more. 
and I think I'm gonna add a heater so three for just the mixing station um, all of this right here I have extended cables so everything would be snugly fit up here and let me show you what I'm going to do instead of um instead of me talking I'll I'll just show you what I'm going to do. We're just going to like rip this open real fast. Open box on the Casa Smart outdoor plug. I only got this because it's two plugs right here. It'll save me from using two of these. So that's the only reason why I went with it. And it's 20 bucks. Here you go. Comes with instructions. Uh, cable mounting hardware and the unit itself like I said before this is meant for outdoors who knows <laughs> probably under your eaves or anything for like patio lights and things like that but let me install the app and then we'll walk through All right so i got the app installed so you gotta go into your wi-fi and then connect to the tp link wi-fi connect to that and then we'll go back Shit. hopefully it does its thing and then we're just connected there you go so got Plug one, plug two, we'll add. So we'll name it plug one, right? So they have different icons right here, but none of them are applicable. So I don't think anyone at TP thought out a person would use this for um, an aquarium, but whatever, we'll pick the snowman. But you do have the ability to add from your album or your camera so right here we'll take a picture use photo save so i got my two wave makers in and it's configured so later on we can just say turn off right wave maker, turn off left wave maker. Be good. Plug it in now and tuck everything up so top. I got those two in out of the way. We're gonna work on setting up these three for the main pump, the skimmer. And we'll get some in for the water change. The water change section well, same process you gotta um use your your wi-fi and find the wi-fi that this plug is um emitting and you pick it and then it'll connect so i had to unplug the other three so now we're at the stage where we name it and everything but i'm gonna save you from watching me do it uh, it's pretty much the same as the other device but it's just a different form so I'll get all of this set up and we'll do a cleanup and everything right. guys so it's the next day I got this tank set up right here if you guys are new here I have some of the older videos explaining what I'm trying to do but in a quick summary I have two 29 gallon breeder tanks right here um, one I want to use for auto top off to fill it with RODI water the other is for water changes so I have these two lines right here um, coming through and it's hooked up to a flood guardian from XP aqua so it has a switch to a solenoid so I could hit play so water would come out I would toggle these to fill whatever tank I want to fill and this tank right here I just put in everything I needed so to mix the salt water, I put in a, a used wave maker right here, a J bow, and a heater, a Phoenix titanium heater I got from Bulk Reef Supply. But although um, I checked their site recently and it doesn't seem like they're carrying it anymore, 
these were pretty affordable around 20 to 30 bucks like all of the sudden they're trying to push their german um, titanium heaters and they want like a hundred or 200 even 200 bucks for it so if you're looking for something similar like this um, go to marine depot they still sell them they're not trying to push their own brand uh, i picked up this sump pump from amazon as well if you guys are looking for something similar i'll leave it a link in the description the pump is kind of similar to the siche sump pump where it's sucking from the bottom so hopefully it'll get all of the water out of the tank because it's sucking from the bottom but it was pretty cheap as well so i have these three things all wired up it's going up to the channel right here and then it's going down and i got a little pile right here but it's better than a big rat's nest i guess it's as clean as i can get it so i have the pump and the heater going to one wi-fi control switch so this switch right here this switch right here it's gonna allow me to um control it by voice with the alexa uh so i could say alexa turn on mixing station and the heater and the pump would turn on and i can add the salt to the tank and let it mix and everything once everything's mixed i can just voice control and say alexa turn on sump pump and it'll pump all of the water into the into the sump that's what i'm hoping for these things are very beneficial um, with voice control and kind of like automating the timing and everything so i mainly use it in the red sea reefer for um, voice control like i said and the timer effect so if i want to set the timer for the uv to run at a certain time of the day i can set it with this like digitally i don't need to use an analog timer where you have to pull out the pins or anything like that you can just use this to set the time for all of your equipment and yeah I ended up buying like a whole bunch of these because they were on sale they'll sell them in three packs and two packs even um, singles you could buy these in singles as well but I think the more you buy it ends up being like seven bucks each something like that I, I forgot the price but I'll leave a link down in the description so you guys can check it out as well so I have everything kind of wired up I originally had the, the skimmer electronics and the main pump on the bottom right here thinking that it will just come to cross over to the sump from the bottom so I don't have to have overhanging wires or anything like that but I ended up tucking all of the wiring into the channels right here and I have it up top now so I have one for the main pump and one for the skimmer so what i'm thinking is the power line for those two things would just come from top and down to the sump kind of hiding within the the plumbing i guess but it's just going to come down like that dangling down so we got all of the electronics in place i don't think i'm gonna add any more electronics all i gotta do is um maybe yeah i gotta wire up the the uv up here as well and i think that's it after this um we're gonna work on the plumbing which is the hard part and i've been kind of holding off on it because it's gonna require a lot of fitting and things like that and i gotta drill through this board to get it up to the to the overflow um up there hang on the back overflow but that's it for this video guys be sure to check in with the next videos i'll be sure to update you with everything i'm doing with this tank i hope you guys have a great day and i'll catch you on the next one bye